In this video, I will show you seven places where you can get pre-approved credit cards that show your actual credit limit before moving forward. What's up winners, my name is Nam. If you're new here, welcome. Here we talk all things personal finance and credit. Start out by subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now, with all the companies that I will be sharing with you, here's one thing that you must understand. Pre-qualifications or pre-approvals are not 100% guarantee, but more times than not, this gives you a pretty good ballpark whether or not you get approved with your starting credit limit. So let's get right into it. So the first credit card that I will be discussing will be the Prosper MasterCard. When I did the pre-qualification for this card, I got pre-approved for $1,000 as a starting limit. And you can get pre-approved as high as $3,000 with automatic review increases every three months. Now let's break down the details with this card. This credit card is geared more towards individuals who have fair or bad credit because the main intention of this card is to help you build or rebuild credit. The great thing about this card is that there's no annual fee for the first year if you decide to enroll in auto pay. But after that, it will cost you $39 per year. I don't really think it's worth past that time because once your credit has been built up, it is best to find a credit card that does not have an annual fee. Another thing to make note of is that this credit card tend to have very high APRs and they can go as high as 30 something percent. So I would be pretty wary about maintaining balances on this card. So I would just treat this as a debit card and as soon as you make an expense, try to pay it off as soon as you possibly can or at least the full amount by the due date. Another downside is that there's no rewards, cash back, or any type of perks that come along with making purchases. But on the bright side, if you are in need of cash or an emergency, there's no fee for ATM cash advances. But you should always proceed with caution due to the fact that cash advances come with very high interest rates at the start of the moment once you get the cash out. So if you were in a pickle, try to pay back the balance as soon as you can so you can avoid some extra interest. The next credit card on the list will be the Apple Card. Whenever I pre-qualified, I got approved for a $12,000 starting credit limit. While there's no definite consensus of how high Apple credit card limits actually go, but based on my internet research, people have seen around $40,000, but again, there's really no significant proof of what's higher than that. Now, before I go into the details with this card, unless you have an iPhone, this card may not be the best for you. But on the other hand, if you make a lot of purchases with Apple Pay, it's probably gonna be worthwhile given its rewards and zero annual fees. Now, let's break down the rewards. If you were to make Apple purchases with the Apple Card via Apple Pay, you get 3% cash back, while other Apple Pay charges will provide you with 2% cash back. So what very few other credit cards offer is that you can get rewards on purchases and use them the same day that they were made. So with that being said, if you do not regularly use Apple Pay, then you would just receive 1% cash back on non-Apple Pay purchases. The card doesn't really have any other additional fees either. There's no annual, over the limit, foreign transaction, or late fees. Additionally, if you do like to purchase Apple products often, and if you use the Apple Card, you can usually finance their products at 0% interest all the way up to 24 months. And if you are wanting a metal card, this card is made out of titanium, which is a nice little touch. Now the next credit cards that we'll be talking about will be the cards from NASA Credit Union. When I got pre-approved through them, I had a starting limit of $20,000. Now before we actually start talking about their cards, let's talk about how you become a member of this credit union. It's actually really not that difficult, so let me just state the obvious. If you are an employee or retiree of NASA headquarters, any NASA center or facility, or the National Academy of Sciences, then you will be eligible. Also being an employee or a member of the credit union's partner companies or associations would also make you eligible. But if none of these apply to you, then it provides you with a complimentary one-year affiliated membership to the National Space Society, which entitles you to a full NASA federal membership and its benefits. Now, let's quickly go over all of the credit cards so you know what to expect. They have the Earn Rewards, which allows you to earn one point for every dollar that you spend on purchases, and it has a lower APR. There's also the Get Cash Back card, which gives you 1.5% cash back for every purchase that you make. Next, they have a low fixed rate card, which has a fixed rate of 12.4 APR after making this video. They also have a share secure version of this card, but we're not gonna cover it in this video. And lastly, they have a show Trekkie Prod card, which is essentially a card for Star Trek fans. There's also a sign up bonus where you can get $300 cash back if you spend $2,000 within the first 90 days. You also get 3X on all purchases at StarTrek.com, 2X points at gas stations, and 1X on other purchases, but there is an annual fee of $39 per year. Now, the next company that I will be talking about will be Dell. They actually have an account called a Dell Preferred Account. So imagine a store credit account where you can only use a Dell. So whenever I pre-qualified, they approved me for a $5,000 starting credit limit. Now, if you haven't visited Dell website before, 
they have way more things that you can actually buy that are not Dell products. Of course, you can get the traditional laptop, computer monitor, and other computer parts that are made from Dell, but you can actually buy other electronics such as Bose headphones, Nest thermostats, and even cameras. Now, from time to time, they do offer promotional financing offers, so whenever I did pre-qualified, they allow you to get no interest if you paid the full amount within six months on purchases greater than $199, and also no interest paid within 12 months if the purchase is greater than $799. Of course, this is at the making of this video, and they do change this all the time, so just be on the lookout for that. Now, the next credit card that we'll be talking about will be the GM Rewards card. I was actually able to pre-qualify for this card with a starting limit of $12,000. Now, this is a new product from Marcus Goldman Sachs, and I actually had a savings account with them since they had a pretty good yield, but now, not so much. This credit card is probably gonna be best fit for individuals who have a GM vehicle such as Cadillac, GMC, Chevrolet, or any other vehicle that's under the GM family. You also get to pick five different car designs, which gives you an extra level of personalization. But anywho, now let's move on to the rewards. You can get 15,000 bonus points whenever you spend $1,000 within the first three months. You also earn 7X points at GM, and also 4x points on purchases everywhere else. But the caveat is that you can only redeem your earnings towards the purchases of a leased vehicle from a handful of brands or gift cards, so there's really not that much flexibility there. Unfortunately, there is 0% APR for the first 12 months, so after that, it will just be variable, and as a cherry on top, there's no annual fee. But there's more. You can earn an extra $100 statement credit whenever you spend $1,500 on fuel per calendar year, or earn a $100 statement credit when you use this credit card to pay six months of your electricity bills. Up next, we will be talking about the credit cards from First National Bank of Omaha. So recently, I did get pre-approved for this card with a starting limit of $15,000, but the caveat is that this may not be available for everyone in the United States, but you can always go to the website and pre-qualify to see if you do. Now, let's break down each one of their credit cards and see what they have to offer. So probably the most popular is the Evergreen card. With this credit card, there's an unlimited 2% cash back on every purchase. And there's also a welcome offer of $200 cash bonus whenever you spend $1,000 within the first three billing cycles, plus there's 0% intro APR for the first 12 billing cycles. The great thing about this credit card is that this is a forever card since there's no annual fee and is easy to maintain in your daily rotation. Next, they have the getaway card, which gets you 3x points on every dollar spent on travel, dining, and gas. Additionally, there's zero introductory APR for the first 12 billing cycles, plus there's no annual fee. The next credit cards are gonna be offered by Truist Financial. They're actually a combination merger of BB&T and SunTrust banks a few years ago. So this does limit the areas that they do serve, so just double check whenever you do go pre-qualify. Since I live in California, I'm not able to, but based on many data points that I have found, you can actually pre-qualify and get approved with only a soft pull. So there has been many data points out there that Truist can actually give you three credit card approvals in one week, and most likely give you two within the same day with only a soft inquiry through Equifax. Now, with Truist, they do have five credit cards, but I'm just gonna cover the ones without an annual fee. The first one is the Enjoy Cash credit card. There is a zero APR offer for 12 months after you open an account, but as for the reward side, there's two options that you can take. You can get 3% cash back on gas, 2% cash back on groceries, up to $1,000, and 1% cash back on other eligible purchases, or you can just go with the easy route, which is 1.5% cash back on everything. Next is the Enjoy Travel credit card. So with this credit card, there's an intro offer of 20,000 bonus miles whenever you spend $1,500 within the first 90 days of the account being open. You also get two times the miles on every dollar spent on airfare, hotels, and car rentals, and 1x miles on everything else. And lastly, they have the Future credit card. This credit card only has an intro offer of 0% APR for the first 15 months after account openings for purchases and balance transfers made within the first 90 days of the account opening. But on the downside, there is no rewards. So now I wanna bring it over to you. Which cards from today's list are you gonna to try to apply for next? Are you gonna go ahead and try with the Apple card or are you gonna go get a card with FMBO? Let me know in the comments. If you wanna know what are the best tips and tricks about building your credit, come and check out these videos over here.